Anna, Gabriel, you have come together in this place that the Lord might seal and strengthen your love in the presence of the church's minister and this community made up of your family and friends. Christ abundantly blesses your love. He has already consecrated, consecrated you with the gift of baptism and now enriches and strengthens you by another special sacrament that you must assume and live out the duties and responsibilities of marriage and mutual and lasting fidelity. A reading from the first letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Love is always patient and kind. It is never jealous. Love is never boastful or conceited. It is never rude or selfish. It is always ready to excuse, to trust, to hope, and to endure whatever comes. Love does not come to an end. What a great honor it is to celebrate um, Anna and Gabe's marriage with all of you. I know people have traveled as far as LA, from Texas, and from the Philippines, and it's really amazing to see the outpour of love today. I met Anna in the fifth grade, and I'm blessed to have uh, experienced so many memories and milestones with her. Anna, today is yet a new milestone for you, and you know, I can't help but reflect on the woman you've become. You're my best friend, and um, you know, you have the, the kindest and most generous soul. You're always, you know, giving so much love to the people around you, and you know, you really inspire me every day. Anna, you look so beautiful and stunning tonight. I'm certain that you'd all agree, right? Let's give Anna a brown. <laughs> you became daddy's girl on the day you were born and have always been a princess to me. Gabe, you're one lucky man. You have grown to be a very intelligent, humble, and beautiful woman. And we are very proud of you. Gabe, I could not think of anybody else to be my son-in-law. I always wanted my daughter to be the happiest that she could be. I thought that I knew the happiest version of her, but I never saw her at her happiest until she met you. Lord, bless and consecrate Anna, Anna and Gabriel in their love for each other. May these rings be a sign of their committed and faithful love. May they remind them always of the commitment they have made today before you and before us. Grab this to Christ the Lord. Amen. Since it is your intention to enter into the sacrament of marriage, I invite you to join hands and declare your consent before God and before us, His Church. I, Gabriel, take you, Anna, to be my wife. I, Anna, take you, Gabriel, to be my husband. I promise to you to be true in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all the days of my life. All the days of my life. Okay, so we're here tonight to celebrate my brother and my new sister, Anna. Uh, we grew up very tight. I remember any time we'd get into an argument, my dad one time had us sleep outside. So I, we could kind of uh, get to feel like we are the only thing we have at the end of the day. 
So being raised that way, being raised in such close of a manner where family is everything was definitely something that was instilled to us. Um, and, I, and I hope that um, Anna, you, you see that in him in the way that he is. I know Gabriel will take great care of Anna and I know Anna, you will take great care of Gabriel. Um, so to a long marriage and a happy marriage. I met Gabriel in the sixth grade. Before I knew it, Gabriel and I were best friends. Anna, I think you found a pretty good partner, pretty good soulmate. Um, if he takes care of you, even half as good as he took care of me while we were growing up, you're gonna be just fine. Um, I think both of you are just on this adventure together now, you know, on this roller coaster, and you just, you know, you can try and see what's ahead of you, and you don't know what's coming, but you know who's right next to you, and I think that's what makes it all right. You know, so I wish you the best of luck. You're not gonna need it, but I still wish it for you, and I thank you both for being in my life. Sincerely, thank you. I love you. This guy's been my best friend for five years. The past five years, this guy has been with me. I took Gabe under my wing when he came to Cali, and then I took care of him for a little bit, but later on, after he took care of me, um, Gabe saved my life plenty of times. I wouldn't be the man I am today without Gabe. I just want to say uh, thank you for everything. I wish you guys the best. I know you're going to take care of her. And I know Anna's going to take care of you, so thank you. Appreciate it. Toast. Toast. Gabe, you might be one of the most magnetic people I've ever met in my life. Um, you have this innate ability to, um, you know, to really bring people in with the warmth of your personality and your positivity. Um, you make everyone feel like family, and that's how I feel around you. And, you know, like I said, I've known Anna a very long time, and she is her most, her strongest, her most radiant and most authentic self when she's with you. You're the perfect partner for her. I truly believe that you're her soulmate. It's now time wherein I'm supposed to welcome Gabe into our family. But the truth is, you've been part of our family since the day we met, we met you. Welcome, my son. I can't wait in having rounds of golf with you. And of course, downing bottles of beer and shots of tequila. <laughs> Stay best of friends. Don't sweat the small stuff. Do lots of everything while you both can. Have fun and try to laugh every day. Remember that love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. It's my great joy to present you new present you now Mr. and Mrs. Ana Gabriel Ramos. Un aplauso, por favor.